So I have here uh, now for something a little different. We're doing a red wine. So uh, this is just a, it's called Rogue Red. It's actually just a red blend. It, it's a very um, inexpensive wine from that I usually pick up when I go to Costco. Uh, it is made in Oregon. The Rogue River is uh, on the eastern side of the Cascades in Oregon. Uh, the wine itself is quite good for the inexpensive uh, blend that it is. Uh, you know, probably not a prestigious wine, but if you just want something on a summer evening out on the deck, this is a good wine to go with. And we will be pairing that with an episode of Golgo 13. <gasps> so this is the third man. So third man. All of the acts are named after movies for some reason. Um, and they really cheated oh. with the last one, because it's like, they wanted to use Spartacus, so they just named the character Spartacus. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Like, you can't well, do that. Well, it was in offensive. Greece. And made him offensive as well, you know? You can't just, uh, I'll just name a character Donnie Darko, and then name the <laughs> chapter after Donnie Darko. You can't do well, that. Well, you named Don. It was in Greece, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. it was in Greece, it was Spartacus. <laughs> Was he Greek? Though? What so, race I was he? Spartacus was Spartacus was Tracian. He was. But that, what race was, was that guy? Was that guy in because the game? What race? Oh, that guy. Yeah, I don't know. What race looks black up close <laughs> but white from far away? What race is that? Mm. Asians. Actually. Sounds like an ancient Egyptian riddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's all gonna have to come out. On account of the racism. <laughs> so. Nope. No. So this is a uh, swimming level. Those yeah, little tangly oh. weeds there, the seaweed, that will kill you. Oh, okay. I wondered. I oh. wondered. Yeah. If it would I or see. if it was. Well, you studied chemical engineering, so, so I think it's, it's in your electric. in your master's <laughs> thesis, so master's it probably involved. If you get into seaweed, it'll just kill you. You are. That is true. I did study seaweed. Yeah, it'll just kill you. That's why the Japs are so fucked up. They keep eating it. Yeah, it, you know. <laughs> and, all right. Uh... More stuff to cut out. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so stay away from octopuses. Octopi. Uh, they, yes. The Actually, octop it's not octopi, Mary, because octopuses does not belong to that category of nouns in Latin. It has a U.S. ending. Doesn't matter. It's not in that category of nouns in Latin because it's a Greek loan word. I choose to believe so that I'm it, right. Is it is it octopus? No, it's octopus. Octopus. Octopus is a perfectly acceptable plural, but technically the uh, or by going by original grammar, the uh, plural should be octopodes. All right. So avoid the octopodes. Okay. Um, because they will just you, mess Doc. you up. They'll just fuck you up. Um, if they take a bunch of bullets, don't worry about them. Um, sharks you should try and kill, men you should obviously always try and kill. Yeah, so kill men and sharks, leave octopodes alone. Yeah. So, I don't know why the arrow couldn't have just told me to go left here, because I think I made a full circle here. Yeah. You saw me yeah. shoot a bullet there, which does give you health back. Um, but well, like I thought I, it gave you bullets, but it gives you health. It gives you a lot of things. Just run away from the octopus. You know, their entire brain is throughout their body, like it's in their tentacles as well. Yeah, well, that's why uh, a one spear gun's not going to do anything. So we're back in this. I love it when Mary tries to recover from being wrong about something. Oh, thank you, David. <laughs> you, want me, you want me to stop saying that at all? I'll be chagrined. David was right. So we're up to 400 bullets. Like. We're doing pretty well. We're up to 200 health. We're, we're at like full. Zero there for a moment. This now game can go from like full to nothing immediately. Like one wrong move and you will just die, even from this point. No, I mentioned the octi the activity. I will use the correct one, having been corrected. Because I just Thank read you. a book, Other Minds, which Zach told Ooh. me I should be pompous during these. So <laughs> no, I, that was during the tastings, <laughs> not during this. During this. <laughs> so I just read a book called Other Minds. Very good book. It was about the cephalopods and mm. and how their mind is different than so, the vertebrate. I think I, I swam pretty well there. I'm pretty proud of that mind performance there. The, uh, yeah, so I suppose you didn't die. There are more of these women. Um, I just die here. So Zach, being a vertebrate, mm -hmm. uh, is not smart enough to get through this level and die here. Well, uh. 
You'd think One that, but... Oh, it's coming together! It's coming together! Ten. Oh, oh, no, uh, uh, well, we're, we're going back. Okay. Um, but you only go back to the start of this little side-scrolling stage. Yeah. All right. Hmm. So, a, a cephalopod would have been able to do that. We are now inside Apparently. of... We are inside of the Drek base in the Aegean here. So this is basically, like, the end of the game. Um... So what you do here, the strategy, is just to, uh, kind of run forward blindly. Uh, if you go back too much to fight those guys, um, they're just gonna respawn. Doesn't really gain you anything. Ideally, you want to just kind of tank your way past them and just get to here. So, we're in here. Uh, this guy comes out. I wonder who this is. Oh, he's asking if we've come to help him. No, we're coming to kill you. <laughs> and we've ellipsed him. Because it's complicated. Um, so remember what I said about repeating dialogue? Um, this is Ox Windham. Again? He's introducing himself again. <laughs> so, this is where... Yeah, we've already talked to this guy, but this... I guess the game devs knew we wouldn't actually recognize him. This is, um, a plot twist that I can't tell, that I didn't know was a plot twist, now because... Now Yeah. Um, it's a plot twist I didn't know was a plot twist, because... They do repeat dialogue. The guy in Berlin was a fake. Ox mm. Windham was the enemy leader, disguised as Ox Windham. Oh, is... I said it was Oz. Oz oh, so it wasn't Oz Windham. Whatever. So the Oz Windham we knew before that we didn't <laughs> trust was not actually Oz Windham. This he's, is the real Oz. Windham. He's the direct leader, Smirk. Mm. Um, and once we find out who Smirk is. You're gonna realize there, it is impossible for him to disguise himself as someone else. He's a little short guy. No, that's no, that's like fake Gunther or whatever. I don't remember his name, but it's something like that. It's not Smurf. Um, is it Spartacus? <laughs> Spartacus is dead. Oh okay. Is the Spartacus come back from the grave? So they said, like right before we fought Spartacus, he's like, oh, they hired the guy who blew up the helicopter to kill Golgo-13. And then we fought Spartacus, a paid assassin, right afterwards. So I just kind of thought for the first time I played this that Spartacus was the guy who blew up the helicopter. Because they don't mention it again. But they do mention it at, like, the end of the game. He's not. It's someone else. So here we found Cherry Grace. Or you. One of the women. A woman. Um... And she's going to uh, tell us she's flying to Rio. She just needed us to walk in here to set her free. But she gave us a key and told us to find the enemy's diary. This is Smirk's diary. We have a key now. Yeah, it's down in our inventory. So there is actually a thing um, in video games called farming. Um, what this is, is it's when you go to an area where you know a certain enemy, enemy will spawn because he drops something that you need. For instance, every enemy in this game drops health. So it is possible for you to go back and forth where you know an enemy will spawn, like this corridor, and kill him to get five of your 200 possible max hit points back every single time. So you, there you are, gaining five So points we're now up to 72. Well. Yeah, a little bit of bullets. I skip it, we're just straight to 170. Okay. We're straight Went to 200. The whole way. Wow. <laughs> So occasionally you pick up a grenade as well, right? I spent a long time there. You pick up a grenade every time. Oh, every time? Okay. Um, but fortunately for you, I did edit it out. So it looks like these two doors go into the same hallway. Um, so the exit is right to our... I don't remember exactly how it works. <laughs> There's an one exit of those nearby. doors... One of those doors... Oh, yeah, fun. that was actually a fuck-up on my part. Um... One of those it's doors... Like that wearing, that's why there's a pod. <laughs> yeah, I was really upset. Um, one of those doors, they both live in the same room, but there's a pitfall between them. You need a key to open one of them, and if you go through it in the wrong order, you'll be falling down a pitfall and basically end up here. Well, not here exactly, somewhere on this floor. Mm. So there are supposedly maps in the instruction booklet, but even so... And once you go down a pitfall, the map is useless because you have no idea where you are. Three walls that we are going to yeah. There's that three wall thing I told you about now before. Now we're going to have to get more grenades. Yes, and so we're completely drained of grenades now. Um, which does mean it's time to go back to uh, a farming spot. 
time to till our land. Uh, here. Okay, there we go. Uh, there Get we a go. Grenade. Got a grenade. Guy, got a grenade. Yep. Yeah. Walk up that hallway. Now he's back. He's back. And, okay. All right, we're okay, good. Got a free grenade. I thought about farming all the way to 400 bullets, but I decided against it. Um, yeah. And we did need to do that farming because we do need the grenades. So. Um, so I very foolishly just went left here and forward. You don't want to do that. You want to go forward further and then go left. Hmm. There's a room we're trying to get into that's directly to our left right now. Like, it's surrounded by hallways, and we have to come at it from this annoying angle because of the pitfall. So in here, um, there's a diary. You can only see it when you're right there. It's only one page. The Drek Empire will be resurrected, and they're going to get rid of the unlucky 13th smirk. So we have the journal now in our inventory, and actually I'm going to stop in a second and use the mouse to kind of point it out. You might not be able to see it. It's pretty pixelated, because it's green on yellow. Uh, there is a swastika on that diary, which Nintendo of America missed. Drek is a censorship issue from Nintendo of America because they didn't think that we should hear about Nazis. The blood splatter from the headshots Fine. still a okay. Mm. We Sex can't Nazis. We can't hear about Nazis. So they changed every instance of Nazi to Drek. So we're trying to fight the Nazis right now. Because oh, we not know about Nazis. the Nazis will prevent us from ever doing that again. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I hope you guys will join me yeah. for episode 7. Okay, so, uh, okay. Bye-bye.